Thank you, Mr. Speaker. During each of the last three state budget debates, education discussions have centered on spending. Unfortunately, what has been lost is a meaningful conversation on, ho on how those dollars are being used. We need to be concerned with whether our kids are actually benefiting from the dollars being spent, not just how much or how little they are receiving. Far too often, government spending serves to deter genuine reform, efficiency, innovation, and improvement. Spending alone is never the solution. To ensure our children are receiving a quality education, we need to look closely at how well resources are being deployed to support student achievement. Policymakers at the state and local levels need a reliable and uniform way of analyzing how resources are used, how spending is prioritized, or how to identify and share best practices in spending efficiency. House Bill 1411 School Watch provides us with that tool. Last month, we here adopted a critical amendment offered by our Honorable Majority Chairman of the Education Committee. There's been a lot of misinformation about what that amendment does or does not do. First, the amendment does not create the Advisory Commission. The underlying bill accomplished that, and that was reported out of the Education Committee by unanimous vote. Due to the hard work of many stakeholders on the amendment, the school business officials, the school boards association, and the PSEA are all neutral on the bill that we now consider. The amendment builds on the initial legislation by authorizing the Pennsylvania Department of Education to develop a financial efficiency rating. This calculation considers education spending in the context of student growth and student achievement. It links spending with student academic outcomes. The amendment does not add new burdensome reporting requirements as has been claimed. Existing reports and link to existing performance data. After all, isn't student achievement the central mission of our K through 12 public education system and spending. Why would we not do this? We need to move beyond the political rhetoric and actually analyze the data now available for better decision making. I genuinely believe that transformational change with regard to school funding and mandate relief will only come if we're able to more thoroughly analyze current spending habits in a transparent manner. School Watch ensures this data is available to the public and policymakers at the local school district level as well as state government. In closing, Article 3, Section 14 of the Pennsylvania Constitution has often been quoted on this floor that the General Assembly shall provide for the maintenance and support of a thorough and efficient system of public education to serve the needs of the Commonwealth. Today, this requirement has become synonymous with an unlimited supply of taxpayer dollars. House Bill 1411, now before us, appropriately shifts that to a broader conversation to better meet our constitutional obligations on behalf of our children. I applaud the maker of the bill and I urge your support of House Bill 1411.